This is a Cotspot robot. Dr. Matthew Dunbabin and Dr. Farah Zayoub say their robot is unique because it observes and interacts with the environment and it is much more effective. The old solution you had to inject up to 20 times. Uh, this particular solution you only need to inject once and it will kill the starfish. Okay, inject in, inject in. Got it. The Cotspot state-of-the-art okay. technology will make the driver's work much easier. So the detection system on board the robot look for shape, structure and color to, the, to, to identify the cuts between in the coral. The two developers are now working with the Great Barrier Reef Foundation to transform the Cotspot into RangerBot, a multifunction robot for monitoring a wide range of issues. For example, coral bleaching or um, other uh, coral damage um, and all sorts of things. It's not only inventions like Cotspot that put QT on the forefront of robotics, it's both underwater and on the land. This fully autonomous robot, Eggbot 2, is an exciting development for agriculture. It has sensors, software and other electronics that allow it to navigate through a field, detect and classify weeds and then kill them either mechanically or chemically. It can even apply fertilizer. Maudie Veltema, QT News.